Family, what's good? It's your boy. We're back with another video. Welcome, Suits and Scents. All right, fam. Real quick, I'll take the L for this one. It's my fault, and I apologize, okay? Your girl left you. She rolled out. She dipped on you, okay? It's my fault. Those, uh, Mr. Steal Your Girl fragrances was just too much. It was just too much, and I apologize. But you're part of the fault, too, all right? You're part of the blame as well because you should have had some of those fragrances. If you did, she wouldn't have dipped on you. She would not have dipped on you. But I got the remedy to that situation. I'm going to give you five, no, seven. I'm going to do seven. I'm going to give you seven fragrances that are, that they're not on the popular side, but they're still excellent fragrances. And the reason why I say that is because it's fragrances that she will have not uh, came in in, in, in in contact with. You know, she haven't encountered these fragrances yet. So just by some chance, you're going to be in the same location that she's in. And, you know, walk over, grab and say, hey, how you doing? And she's going to get a whiff of it. And she's going to be like, oh, well, he trying to act brand new now. He got on something new. Bam. Got him. Fragrances that will make her well let me see how can I put this hmm. fragrances that will make her miss you tremendously she will regret what she did she gonna want like Biggie say I want that old thing back that's what's gonna happen with these fragrances because the fragrances are different a lot of people don't have them and you will be unique wearing them okay that's how it's gonna be alright First time viewers, thank you for tuning to the channel, Suits and Sense. I truly appreciate you. Of course, I want you to hit the subscribe button. But before you hit that, please go back. Check out some of the other videos from Suits and Sense. See how we hit you. If you like it, if it tickles your fancy, if it's appealing, if it's entertaining. Any of those things. If you like, if you do, then come back, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. You know, share it with your friends, fam. Because I can't stop, won't stop, not going to stop. All right? I consider you my family. I hope you consider me your family. And we're going to keep this thing going, family. Get on this love train. We're going to roll with it, okay? All right, so we're going to do these fragrances that are that will make her miss you tremendously, okay? Tremendously. All right, y'all come on back here. All right, fam, let's get to the first one. Pineapple juice, candle, all right? Ah, let's do it. First setup is from the house of the zoologist, and it's the harvest mouse. Now, a lot of people don't mess with um, the house of the zoologist because, you know, the, the fragrances are, they are unique, they are different, and some of them are very, very potent, especially if you ever uh, get into uh, a, a, a fragrance store and if you can get a chance to uh, take a smell of the bee, man, you, that is the strongest honey scent I have ever smelled, ever. I mean, now it's not it's something that I wouldn't buy, but hey, I'm just saying to smell it so you can see the authenticity of how rich and potent their uh, ingredients are for this uh, house zoologist, okay? Not a bad house at that, but we're talking about the Harvest Mouse. Came out in 2023. This gonna run you between 150, 175. Not expensive at all, not expensive at all. Beautiful scent. It's, it's, it's like a vanilla amber type thing going on. And when it dries down, it is a complete monster. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful, okay? And here we have that chamomile and that clove and some citrus notes. That chamomile in the opening, man, look, it just takes you somewhere. It truly, truly takes you somewhere. Just like the chamomile in the um, in tea. Man, this is a nice, soothing, inviting scent. It truly is. Um, and then we have 
some beer, the note of beer. It's faint, not in there a lot, not a lay a lot, it's real faint. Got some rose oil, then the vanilla, the sandalwood, and the oak moss. Now there's other fragrances in there, but those are the ones that stuck out to me. The chamomile and the vanilla, a little bit of cedar, and that rose oil. I'm telling you, family, when you put this on, this right here, guarantee you, I guarantee you, as you walk off from her, she gonna be looking at you. She gonna be like, dang, I messed up. You know, that's what she gonna be doing. But it's cool, it's cool. We on the right track, we on the right track because hey, sometimes if it's meant to be, you have to let it go, all right? So with that being said, let's get to the next one. All right, family, next we're going to the house of Van Cleef and the Pearls and it's Amber Imperial. Family, listen, listen. Uh, came out in 2015. This should run you hmm, about a hundred bucks. At the most, about a hundred bucks. Shouldn't even be no more than that, okay? All right. Listen, this right here is a solid killer. A true solid killer because it, 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 it's not a room filler. It's not a beast mode fragrance. It's more of a close quarters fragrance because when you see her, of course you're going to hug her. You're not going to have no hard feelings towards her. Hey, because she's a grown woman, she's free to do what she want to do. She want to step out there, fine. She stepped out there. She see that the grass isn't green on the other side. And bang. All right. Boom. There we go. She getting a whiff of you with this one right here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. She thinking about just coming back with you right now. I'm telling you. That's what she's thinking. Put that on right there. All right. Uh, and here is the amber and the vanilla, of course. Amber and vanilla, of course. You know, that vanilla in these first two fragrances, man, it is a true powerhouse. The amber and the vanilla, of course. And in the opening, it's a little, a tad bit spicy. Very, very slight with the uh, pink pepper. And um, some bergamot. It's a little citrus, but that's it, okay? And uh, and then, you know, on the dry down, you got some woody notes. So, the, the, vanilla, the amber, the vanilla, and the woody notes blend it, and they stick with it on the dry down throughout the uh, continuation of the fragrance. And boom, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you, these fragrances are not household names. But it doesn't mean that they're not good quality because they actually are. They are They are totally, totally, totally worth the money. And you will not be disappointed in them, all right? All right, let's get to number three. All right, fam. Next, we're going to the house of Claude Marcel. Now, I just recently uh, purchased this one. And it's, once again, it's not known. Research, see if anybody's talking about it. There, well, maybe one or two, but none of the uh, the usual fragrance uh, entities. They're they're not speaking on it at all. Claude Marcel, at least not to my knowledge. Now maybe you might see some that have, but uh, not from none from the states. I know one guy over in, I believe he's Dubai or. Arabian, somewhere like that, I believe he spoke on it, but Claude Marcel, fam, I'm telling you, this scent right here, the dry down, killer, killer, it's a room filler, longevity is beautiful, Siage is beautiful, it is, killer. I'm not being paid by no fragrance house at all, I'm just telling you, good quality, okay, and this one right here is good quality, Claude Marcel, if you, now I will say this, they're asking $275 for it. I wouldn't pay $275 for it. I'm quite sure if you can find it somewhere cheaper, get it, okay? It shouldn't be, you know, paid that much for it. But it's a really, really, really good scent, okay? It's a uh, warm, spicy. It opens with some pink pepper and some uh, juniper berries. Uh, and what really brings it home is the toffee and the cinnamon. Man, that thing is beautiful. You got some lavender in there with a little floral to come to it, just to add a little bit of tink tink with it and whatnot. But Claude Marcel's or Noir. I'm telling you, check this one out, fam. You won't be disappointed, in it, okay? All right, let's get to the next one. All right, fam. Next, we're going to the house of Omar Luxury and it's Royal Incense. Now, listen, this fragrance right here is 
straight beast. All capital letters, capital B, capital E, capital A, capital S, capital T, beast. I'm telling you. You wear this fragrance right here. Now, like I tell you, I'm the king of overspray. I'm the overspray king. But with this one, no need, no need. You can do two sprays with this and you'll be good for three years. I'm telling you, that's how good and how potent this fragrance is. Like I'm trying to tell you, family, I'm giving you fragrances that aren't commonly mentioned of because they're just not in the, you know, the top houses or whatever, but they're still really good, solid fragrances for what we're trying to accomplish. Because the thing we're trying to accomplish is, remember, we want her to get, you know, to smell us and have a different scent. We got a different attitude. We got a different approach. We got different fragrances. Boom. We moving forward. That's what we doing. Royal Incense. This came out in uh, 2020, I believe. It should run you about maybe 150. Inexpensive. Good quality. Okay. Now, in here, we got a little bit of spice and open with some pink pepper. Then... Uh, some floral coming in with some uh, some lily and um, geranium, but <laughs> it, it is amazing. This thing truly goes through three different transitions. On the dry down, you got some honey and some incense, amber and leather. When they show up, they kick everybody out the house. It's like Martin up in there. Get out! Get out! That's what they doing. Oh uh, man, look. You got to. Oh, you have to. Oh, like I tell you, in the opening, you got the floral, you got the spice. But when it dries down, you got the honey, you got the incense, you got the amber, you got the leather, you got a little bit of cedar. Boom, right there, I'm telling you, monster beast scent. Beast scent right there. And you don't need to overspray it. And, and as a matter of fact, in the hot or warm weather, do not overspray with this. Complete nuclear meltdown. Do not overspray with this. One. That's how strong it is. But it's still good for the weather because you're not going to spray a lot. One spray at a distance to cover all of this. Boom. See, look at the spray. Let me get this for you. Let me get this for you. Look at that. That's all you need. That's all you need. Mm. That's all you need. Last you all day. All day. And you good. Tell me. Alright. Let's get to the next one. Alright, fam. Talking to me. I get a little parched. Going to the house of Rosendoma 2 and it's number 5. Fam. As you can see, I've been putting a hurting on this one. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. God be the glory. Tell me. Woo! That thing right there. Mm. I'm going to put it to you like this. If you don't want her back, don't wear this. Because you're going to have a problem on your hands. Because she's coming back. She is coming back. I'm telling you. She is coming back. Right? She will miss you tremendously. Tremendously. Fragrances that will, fragrances that will make her miss you tremendously. And that's what you're going to have right here. Rose and Dolma 2. Now, in here, in the opening, it's real spicy. Uh, it's like a floral spicy because it got some exotic floral notes in there with that spice. And that thing opens up beautifully. Oh, my goodness. And the opening sticks with it. It's light, but you still get whiffs of it throughout the continuation of the fragrance. You truly do. And then you have... Amber, vanilla, and musk. Now, you got some more florals in there with some carnation and some lily of the valley. But that amber, that uh, vanilla, and that musk, man, with that spice. Ooh. And that floor, look, number five for Rose and Dolma 2. This should run you between 150, 175 as well. Maybe, I know, probably 125 to 150. That's what that should run you. Family, I'm giving you these fragrances. Inexpensive price. Excellent quality. Excellent quality for what you're trying to accomplish, and it will get accomplished. Okay, let's move to the next one. All right, fam. Next, we're going to the house of Thamin, and the fragrance is uh, Riviera. That's the fragrance. Oh my goodness, 
This house right here, family, I think it doesn't get the recognition that it deserves. It truly deserves more recognition than what, than what it gets. It, it truly does. It's a beautiful, beautiful house. I think it's up there with the top ones. It really is. They got beautiful fragrances here. Now, this came out in 2016. This should run you, should be no more than 200. Should be no more than 200. Beautiful scent. Uh, and here, it opens with a little bit of spice with some saffron and some uh, black pepper. And it, it, it's not a kick spice, but a real light, a um, mellow spice, I'm not even gonna say sweet, but a nice, really mellow spice, because then you have the floral coming in with some uh, some Turkish rose, some carnation, some sage, and that spice and that rose, it stays there. They mix together beautifully. One fragrance isn't trying to overtake the other one, and they just, is well blended in together. And then, uh, as they start to dance, you know, you have that leather and cypress oil come in there. And the leather comes in and adds some maturity to it and makes it a little tough or whatever. Well, I ain't gonna say tough, but adds a little thickness to it. And on the dry down, you still get all three uh, of the transitions staying there. To my nose, I'm still picking up all the notes and it's just a nice, real subtle scent that a lot of people uh, aren't, aren't rocking and when she get a whiff of this on you when she get a whiff of this on you i guarantee you it's going to be a totally different experience because you're wearing fragrances that most people aren't wearing something different and she's going to notice that because it's a different fragrance that's catching her off guard because you never wore it before bam you got her in the bag out the door gone let's get to the next one or my final one let's get to my final all right, fam, the final fragrance is going to the house of uh, Nisha Nay, and it's Africa Oliphant. Now, this fragrance here, Beast, capital B-E-A-S-T, Beast, in a good way. Now, there's nothing sweet about this fragrance, there's nothing light about it, nothing mellow. It's a kick you in your face fragrance, but in a pleasant way, okay? Family, uh, I'm telling you. When, like I just mentioned, when she get a whiff of this, it's gonna be all different fragrances that she never smelled on you before. And a really good fragrance. Not in not uh, you know, high price fragrances, um, but low, you know, budget friendly, but good quality. Okay. This came out in 2016. This should run you probably about 150, okay? Should be no more than that. And boom, you got it. All right. And here is the, the main note in here is the leather and the agarwood. That's the main note in here. But of course, you, you got some uh, synthetics, uh, seven and uh, musk in there that adds, you know, that that mm, to it and uh, some um, castorium. Um, I had to look up what castorium because I've never heard it before, you know. That's one thing about me. If I don't know what things, I'm a researcher. That's just how my brain, my, that's how my brain functions. Um, and in the opening, some ambergris, some myrrh, some olibanum, and uh, I believe uh, some labdum, I think it is. Two sprays and you're done. Two sprays and you're done. That's it. That's how good this is. And look how, look how, come on, look. Mm. Banging set. Banging, banging, banging set. In the warm weather, or in the warm and hot weather, two sprays. No more than that. No more than that, okay? It has, I'm going to say, a rough sweetness to it, okay? It's a rough sweetness to it. Grown man scent, mature man scent. Um, yeah, man, they got his stuff together. Like I said, we already listened to the Lenny Williams song. Girl, you know I, I, I love, you know, uh -uh. We, we passed that stage now, all right? We are moving on stage, but we're gonna let her know, bam, you lost the good one. I'm out of here. And to make it more better, the tension that you getting, oh my goodness, this thing is hitting. Woo. Mm. Family, you have to, these, these fragrances that I'm getting, inexpensive, but excellent quality. Inexpensive, but excellent quality, okay? All right, fam, those are my seven fragrances to my uh, new uh, 
viewers. Thank you for tuning to the channel, Supers and Sets. If you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, share it with your friends, co-workers, and all that. Let everybody know about the channel, because we're doing big things over here. Can't stop. Won't stop. Not going to stop. Why stop? It's just not going to happen. Okay, I'm going to keep these wheels rolling. Get on this love train, family. We're going to keep it moving. To my continued viewers and subscribers, much love, family. Much, much love. I truly, truly appreciate you, and I thank you. I truly do. Drop your boy a comment. We always rapping on here. I answer all my comments. All of them. I do them. We rapping. We have a good time. Okay? Um, and that's how we do, family. All right? We're going to keep the ball rolling. To the next video, family. Much appreciative, and I thank you. Deuces.